Good morning guys, it is July 16th. We are here at the North Carolina Zoo. So this zoo is split up into continents. So right now we're in North America and we're gonna go see the black bear. So yeah, I'm gonna do another montage. How expected of me. Yes, right dad, do you love my montages? They're beautiful. Thank you. Best montages ever. That's what I like to hear. All right, so we finished up in North America and now we're at this area with a ton of food everywhere. So we're gonna eat something and then we're gonna go to Africa and probably feed some giraffes and stuff. There's giraffes and zebras and lions and all those types of things. So in yesterday's vlog, I was talking about a Durham Bulls hat. So this is the hat. So that's the baseball team that plays on the field that I showed yesterday. If you haven't seen that vlog, you can go check it out. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna eat, go to Africa. I will update you guys with what I'm eating, of course, because I'm obsessed with food and we need all those food shots that we can get. All right, so we got our food. This is apparently my chicken sandwich. We paid over $9 for that and they gave me a chicken this big. Weird. Ridiculous. All right, so we are currently at the elephant exhibit. There's an elephant right here. Wow, looks like I'm holding it great. Um, so yeah, this is the last exhibit of the day today. We're gonna go take the tram back to the parking lot where we parked in North America because right now we're in Africa. And then I guess we're gonna go home and maybe get some pictures of birds or some drone shots, right dad? Perhaps, yes. Yeah, this was pretty cool. So my dad wants me to tell you guys that the um, North Carolina Zoo is, what is it, the biggest zoo? The largest zoo in the world. The largest zoo in the world. It is huge. They have tons of crazy animals here. They have polar bears, which I didn't get in the montage because when we got here, they were not out. Of course, polar bears in North Carolina don't really mix because it's very warm here. But they're usually out in the morning, but then they go into their dens with the very cold air. So we miss that. But they have, what, do they have two? Mm -hmm. They have two polar bears here. Miss it though. I just dropped my lens cap for the second time. Thank you. The lens cap for the Sigma Zoom really comes off all the time, so I'm surprised I haven't lost it yet. That's interesting. Beatles. All right, so I'll get back to you guys probably when we're on the tram. All right, so we're back on the tram to go back to the parking lot. This tram reminds me a lot of, thank you, reminds me a lot of the trams at Disney because um, they have trams that are exactly like this. We're gonna head home and do some stuff. It is currently 1.12 in the afternoon. Dad, what time do you think we got here? So we got here at 9.40, so we've been here around three hours, which was a good amount of time. We got to see everything, but a lot of the animals weren't really out, so that's why my montage was not completely full as it should have been, but it's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys either when we're in the car, or when we're back at home, or something interesting happened. It is indeed the world's largest zoo. I rate this latte a 6 out of 10. Only 6. 
six out of ten. That's a nine at least. It's drinkable. Harambe. No. Harambe is the gorilla pod. Harambe is whatever. I, I named want it my to be. gorilla pod Harambe. Harambe is not a latte. I fell asleep in the car on the way home, and now I'm like dead. So I needed coffee to survive. Right, Ted? Or else I would still be dead. It's getting better as I drink it. No, oh, I can add more espresso if you want. All right, so Padre Vignola made us some pizza. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. So we're gonna eat. I don't have a plate, so I guess I'm gonna have to get a right here. My plate. And. Yum. And this one. Great. Love it. That looks really good. All right guys, so for the end of this vlog, I'm going to show you guys how to make my world famous fruit parfaits. So every when I come to my dad's house, I make this for the whole family. They love them, they're delicious. I love them as well and I only make them once a year. I don't know why I don't make them at home, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So these are all the ingredients you need. You're going to need strawberries, blueberries, bananas, graham crackers, completely plain Greek yogurt, solo cups or some other type of plastic cup, a small bowl, a plastic bag, a paring knife, a big spoon, a small spoon, and a cutting board. So first things first, we need to cut the strawberries. Now we need to cut the banana. Now we need to use the graham crackers and the plastic bag and crush up some graham crackers and then put them into the small bowl with a small spoon. created an assembly line. So, graham crackers, yogurt, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, cup. All right, so first things first, you need some graham cracker in the bottom. And you need a scoop of yogurt in the bottom. Take some strawberries, of course my hands are clean. Some blueberries. Some slices of banana. All right, and then you do another small layer of graham cracker, another scoop of yogurt, another layer of graham cracker, more strawberries, blueberries, bananas. All right, so. Another layer of graham cracker. I'm doing this with my left hand, so. Scoop of yogurt. This is what I meant by you kind of need a little more than a scoop. More graham cracker. More berries. Oh, strawberries. Blueberries and bananas and a little bit more graham cracker. All right, parfait number one is done. This is my masterpiece. I'm going to go and assemble the other three parfaits and I will get to you guys after I'm done that and I will show you and then my sister's gonna eat hers now so I'll show you her opinion on my amazing parfait. All right, so here's the finished project of all four parfaits. Now I'm gonna bring this one to my sister and see what she thinks. Here, hold this while I get you a spoon. I forgot a spoon, which is pretty important. Big spoon or little spoon? She chose big. Here we go. All right. You must get your opinions on the vlog. 
Why would you mix it? All those layers for nothing? We want your opinion in words. God. Was it the best parfait you've ever had? No. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what I thought. Now we must put these other parfaits into the fridge. I'm not going to have mine. It's a fifth. It's 8.55 at night. I don't really want to eat anything right now. So, I'm just going to put the other three into the fridge, the rest of the family, and I will have them tomorrow. My dad and I think that it tastes better if you wait a couple hours or overnight because... What did you say, Dad? Say it louder. The flavors melt together. The flavors melt together, and it makes for a delicious parfait. All those juices, all of that graham cracker. Goodness, hits the spot. I make the best parfait. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um... If you want to make the parfait, make the parfait and you'll know how amazing it is, although nobody can make it as good as me. Just letting you guys know. So that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog as well as watch yesterday's vlog. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of my vlogs and my content and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.